Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I am super excited because I'm going to be recreate doll photos on Instagram. Also guys, today's video is a collaboration with Barbie's Awesome World. Make sure to check out her channel and the video she'll be posting because she's also going to be attempting to recreate doll Instagram photos. I'll have it linked in the eye in the top right corner. So if you want to check that out, be sure to. Anyways, let's get on with today's video. Now, the first photo I'm gonna attempt to remake is by Barbie Doll Silk on Instagram. So make sure to follow her because she has amazing photos. She is over 21,000 followers. And this is the photo I'm gonna be trying to recreate. Keep in mind, I'm not gonna be able to make the photos look identical and I don't want them to look exactly the same either because I wanted to have a bit of my own twist. For this picture, I'm going to be using these three Barbie dolls because I think they are super similar to the ones that are in the photo. So as for the outfits that I'm going to give the dolls, I just went through my clothing doll clothing drawer And I found these three outfit tops sort of thing that I think will work the best for this. Of course, they're not too similar to the actual photo, but I think this is about as good as we're going to get. You're only really going to be able to see the top part here, so this long dress shouldn't be seen. It's just mainly the top. I'm going to start working on the background. So it looks like she used a nice fluffy, soft pink material. Now I don't actually have any fabric that's like that. However, I do have this really fuzzy pink sweater that I think will work perfectly for this photo. So that is definitely going to be very helpful for the background. So I'm just going to lay this flat. Now I'm just going to place the doll according to the photo. So what it looks like is that they all have their hands kind of tucked behind their head here. And now I'm just going to add a couple little accessories that are similar to the photo. This little plate of pizza. I know she is like a pizza box, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to use this little pizza here. I'm just adding a couple other pink-like accessories like this little Polaroid camera. I'm also just adding this little makeup palette down here and then this little pink jar of glitter over here. So now that I have this little scene all set up, I'm gonna take a couple pictures and I'm gonna try to get that perfect angle that is most similar to the original photo. I can't get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life It's just my time the next Instagram photo I'm going to be recreating is by Barbie Best Friends on Instagram. And I absolutely love her. So definitely make sure to check out her uh, YouTube channel as well at Malu Ferrari because she has awesome clothing and accessory tutorials for Barbie. So I'm going to be recreating this photo on her Instagram. And I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to be using this doll because I do think she is the closest to the one in the original photo. I also happen to have the exact top that was in the photo, so that is really helpful. And I'm also just going to be using these shorts that I made. For the background of this photo, it's mainly white. So I'm going to switch backgrounds to a white glossy kind of background. Now, if you've noticed in the photo, there are some lights in the background and I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to rig together some different light fixtures and we're going to figure out how we're going to do this. So I have this mirror here with some light bulbs that you can kind of turn on. So the mirror kind of reflects a very dark background. So I'm just going to put this white paper in front here, but I'm also going to add some fairy lights to add some extra lighting and maybe distract from the ugliness going on over here. So now I'm just going to kind of place the doll here in the same pose, which I'm kind of worried about because it looks like a very hard pose to get. So it might take a little bit of time for me to get the right pose. So I'm just gonna try to do that. So this is how the setup is looking so far. The background looks really crazy, 
but I think when I take it in the portrait mode, it'll kind of blur out the background hopefully and we won't see all that imperfection going on. I know the original photo, she has blue earrings, but I don't have any. So I'm just gonna keep these hoop earrings in. But I do have these mini van shoes that I actually made from a tutorial of hers on her channel. So make sure you check that out if you wanna make these cute vans as well. So it looks like she has like a little water bottle over here. So I don't really have the, obviously the exact same one she has. So I just have this little pink plastic kind of like shampoo bottle thing. I know she has the blue Polaroid camera, but I only have a pink one. So I'm just gonna put that one right here. And then she has a whole bunch of bracelets going on. She has an anklet over here too. You left me with a heavy heart. I'm colder than the dead. So I think I'm honestly pretty happy with how this looks. I know it's not gonna be exactly like the original one, but I'm still pretty happy with it. I'm gonna get try to get some nice shots. The next photo I'm going to be attempting to recreate is this one by Off The Doll Shelf on Instagram, another amazing doll photographer. This is going to probably be the hardest one to recreate. So first off, we're going to have to switch the background again to white. I guess I should have just left it white, but you know, it's okay. We're going to switch back again. So for this photo, I'm going to be using this doll once again because I just think it's the closest one to the one in the photo. So for the outfit, I already know that it's not going to look really similar to the photo. So I'm looking now and this top is just way too different. So I'm going to switch out for this like literally, like it's just literally a just flap of fabric and I think it'll look closer. We'll just see how this looks instead. This is definitely much closer and although it doesn't look that great, we're working with what we've got here, so I think this is as close as I'm going to get for the outfit. So now for the background, it kind of looks like we have some sort of table thing ledge going on off to the left. So I'm just going to be using this fireplace that I made. It's not, um, it doesn't look necessarily great, but I think it'll do for what we need it for. And I actually think I'm gonna add this piece of paper behind the fireplace here to kind of look like a wall. So I got a couple accessories that I think will go nicely with the room and match the original photo. So I got lots of greenery because if you look at the photo, there's lots of greenery. And then it looks like there's some kind of picture in the background. So I thought this one looks pretty similar. So I'm gonna put that up there. So now I'm just gonna try to position the doll like how the doll in the original photo is positioned. I think this pose should work and I'm just gonna try to get some good photos. The next and final photo I'm going to be trying to recreate is from Barbie's Awesome World. And yes, she is the one I'm doing the collab with in today's video. And she also has an Instagram account, so make sure to check that out. She's also going to be recreating one of my photos on her video. So make sure to check out her video so you can see how she recreates one of my doll Instagram photos. So the photo I chose from her account is this one here because I think it's super cute and I should be able to recreate it. The first thing I'm gonna do though is switch the background once again over to white. So for this picture, the doll is lying on a bed. So I'm just going to use this bed here. I don't have a red framed bed. So I just kind of cut up these scrap pieces of red fabric and I'm just gonna kind of drape them over the end and the uh, head board of the uh, bed. So hopefully we can kind of get that same effect. So I don't have the same doll as in the photo, so I'm just gonna use this one because she does have blonde hair. Uh, I think she will do the job. 
This is the outfit I decided to give her. I couldn't actually see what bottoms that the doll's actually wearing in the original photo, so I'm just giving her these shorts. As for the top, unfortunately, I don't have any kind of white t-shirt that has like a pink heart or anything like a pink on it. So hopefully this will do the trick. So now I'm just gonna try to position her on the bed similar to the original photo. So I think I have her pose down. Unfortunately, I don't have pink headphones like in the original photo. However, I do have these little Beats headphones. Now what actually kills me is that these were originally pink and I repainted them to look more realistic, but now I kind of wish that I left them pink because they would be perfect for this photo. But I think I'm just going to use these instead. Now in the original photo, she's reading a little magazine and I actually found like the exact same one. It's from like a My Froggy Stuff tutorial video. So I'm just gonna use this for her as her magazine. And then in the photo, it has like a little box of like donuts or something. I just made this quick makeshift little polka dot box with these little random clay things inside. They're not that pretty. I made them so long ago, but I think they'll do the trick. I know this isn't perfect, but I think it's as good as it's gonna get. So all that's left is to get some shots similar as possible to the original photo. So that is all of the recreations for today. I'm honestly really happy with how they all turned out and I hope you guys like how they turned out too. Make sure to comment down below which one was your favorite and make sure to check out Barbie's Awesome World where she is gonna be doing a very similar video. So I'll have that linked in the description and in the eye in the top right corner. Make sure to check out everyone's Instagrams who I was inspired by to make these recreations. So I'll also have those down in the description. Before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Doll Madness and Shivranjini Kamari. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DDSquad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore delightful dolls, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.